Alright, I'm going to make a quick video showing you all the things that you'll need to check for if your 3400 engine is misfiring. I just recently had a problem with mine missing and I had a very difficult time figuring out what was wrong and why it was misfiring. So the first thing I did, obviously, was, uh, you know, ran a code scanner on it and I was coming up as a P0303, which is a cylinder 3 misfire. So obviously the first thing I'm going to do is pull out the spark plug and check it out. Well, everything looked good with the spark plug. I didn't see anything wrong with it. Looked good. Didn't have any fouling, no blackness, no problems with it. So I'm like, hmm, all right. Well, maybe whenever I took off the spark plug wires last, it uh, pulled the boot and uh, maybe it's just not making a very good connection. So I changed out the spark plug wire. Still had the problem. I'm like, okay, well, now let's move over to the coil. Well, the coil seemed good too. Had plenty of spark. Checked it with a gapper and everything was zapping just fine. I mean, it was sparking up a storm, so that obviously wasn't the problem so but these are the first three things you'll want to check if your car is having a misfire you know first check the plugs and, uh, and the plug wires and then make sure you've got plenty of spark coming to it from the coil box especially if you're getting a uh, misfire on one cylinder or um, whatever not sometimes these things will also throw as a uh, random misfire too due to the uh, ignition module uh, or uh, just a uh, bad coil where it's grounding out. So then another one of the things that you'll want to check for is the fuel rail. Um, when this was all back together I uh, took my stethoscope kitty kitty run kitty run <laughs> crazy cat I took my stethoscope here, it's got a tube on the end of it, put it on, and then uh, just took it when it was back in there and just put it up against here like this and was hearing the thing click, you know. So obviously the fuel injector was uh, injecting fuel because uh, whenever I'd pull off one of the uh, spark plug boots when it wasn't running and then started it up, it sounded even worse. So, I mean, something was going on inside the cylinder, but I couldn't figure out what it was. Another thing you'll want to remember with these 3400 engines are is that the uh, intake and exhaust push rods are of different lengths, and you don't want to get them mixed up. Um, obviously, the uh, exhaust will be the exhaust valve will be closest to the exhaust, and the intake closest to the intake. As you can see, like with this one right here, it's the um, the valve and everything goes straight into uh, the port right here, which is the intake. So don't mix up the uh, push rods. You will definitely cause severe engine damage, like vent push rods, bent valves, or uh, maybe even stripping out these um, bolt holes here for inside the head. And those are not fun to uh, have to take the head off and put a new Healy coil in there. So uh, be careful with that. But after I checked all that, I still had a misfire and couldn't figure out what it was. So I'm going to show you what my problem was. Since the 3400s and the 3.1 liters all seem to have the uh, all seem to have um, lower intake manifold gasket leaks. Um, I uh, obviously had to do that on this one at some point in time. So whenever I put that in there, I had a problem. I what I did, I torqued down the Felpro gaskets. A little too much and what happens is they uh, didn't compress as much as they should have. The problem I had was this little metal tab that's inside these gaskets won't compress. This is what sets inside the head here, inside right here. And whenever I torque those down this obviously will not compress because it's metal. And here's the problem that it created. 
And if you're having a strange misfire in your engine, and obviously I'm sure you've had to do an intake manifold gasket at some point in time if your car has over 100,000 miles, and sometimes it doesn't even take that long for these intake manifolds to go bad. Here's the problem I had. As you can see, I've got two different sets of lower and upper intake manifolds here. And whenever I torque these things down here, I torqued them down a little bit too tight. And as a result, I got this. Let's see if this thing will show it. Yep, there it is, right there. See these cracks? It broke. That little, that little tab that wouldn't compress broke this right here. Typically, Felpro makes very good gaskets, and I love to use them, but... Obviously, in this instance, uh, it uh, kind of created a problem for me. Maybe if I torqued these down right, I wouldn't have had that problem. However, uh, I like to get things firm so I don't have to do this job over again. So, obviously, on the uh, upper intake, it even uh, screwed that one up, too. Uh, right down inside there, you can kind of see a crack down through here. And even... Right straight through there, too. These are my new ones, and I've already inspected them for cracks, making sure they don't have that problem. And those are the ones I'm going to use. But if you have a uh, misfire that you just cannot seem to diagnose, if you change the spark plug, change the spark plug wire and the ignition coil, and you know you've got good fuel um, injectors injecting into there, uh, you've got good compression, uh, which I ran a compre com um, compression test on uh, the cylinders and it had good compression because um, that's all between the uh, valves and the piston. So you wouldn't have been able to die, I wasn't able to diagnose this problem through a compression test. Uh, what I was having was a lean misfire condition. It was firing some of the fuel, but not all of it because there was more air being introduced into the cylinder than what was actually necessary for the combustion process. So, this was my problem. I hope this helps somebody out there whenever you're doing your car and you just cannot figure out for the life of you what the problem is because I looked all over the internet and couldn't figure out what it was. However, this was what my particular problem was. So, obviously you want to start with the spark if you have a misfire. And if you know all that's working good, then check the injectors by listening to it with a stethoscope, typically, if they're injecting good. Um, then uh, you've obviously uh, eliminated that issue. And uh, finally, I guess, uh, would be to inspect your uh, intake manifold itself. These things heat up and cool off, especially in cooler climates that has uh, fluctuating temperatures and four seasons then, uh, yeah, definitely check this. I know this video may be a little bit lengthy, but uh, I say I want to go over all the bases and help some of you guys out get these problems fixed. If you have any more questions or problems with your GM 3400 engine, leave a comment in the comment section down below, and I will do what I can to help you get your car fixed and running well. All right. Got any more video requests? Send me a comment and uh, I'll see if I can uh, get a video posted up. Get you helped out. Cool. Till later.